Hi, um, my name is Colette Sadler. I am a choreographer originally from Glasgow in Scotland and today I'm at the OGR to present one of my choreographic works, Learning from the Future. I started work on learning from the future in 2016 um, and at that time I was looking into the work of Bronislava Nijinska who's a early modern female choreographer um, and she created a work called Les Nos um, and it was considered a proto-feminist ballet by a number of dance writers and historians. I ironically created my own conceptual death by way of a, a tombstone that said Colette Sadler on it. And then I went on to write a conversation where I asked Najinska about what it was to be a choreographer in the post-life, in a post-body scenario. Um, thinking about more concentrating on this conceptual idea of post-life, post-body, virtuality, um, and that developed into the piece um, with the title Learning from the Future. So it was looking at um, the death of like the human that allows the, the body to be reimagined or reinvented as this kind of post-human or cyborgian body. I mean, the choreographer William Forsyth said, choreography is a visual art form. And my work is about creating images using dance and choreography as my medium. Learning from the future and looking more into sci-fi and virtual space, I started to work more with a um, video artist and um, Nico Gastel and with that, looking at how we could sort of create a new sort of scenic language between like, um, video images and live images. The things that I struggle with is where does this work have a place and where can this work live? Because there's a lot of visual artists who are making performance and so they're moving within the spaces of visual arts and galleries. But if you're working with more classical canons of choreography like I am, but your work is also kind of relating to conceptual thematics that connect to like more to visual arts practice, then it's difficult to find a place for your work. So for me, the OGR is a kind of the perfect context because it allows the work to be simultaneously choreography and connect to visual arts and the other works around it, like the Wong Ping video. The industrial context for me is also very fitting for what I'm doing, my choreography, because I come from a Glasgow, a very industrial city, and it feels like that's where I, I belong. You know, I'm, I'm, I feel like my work lives within, within those kind of industrial spaces very well. Mm. 